Hello everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate how we can fine tune the new Llama 3 uh, language model on a custom data set. I want to do that also while showing, demonstrating a new framework that I found today. It's called Unsloth. Here is their GitHub. And what Unsloth does, it is a tool, is a framework that accelerates fine tuning of your language models by up to 30% while reducing the memory consumption by 60% without any loss in accuracy. And it does this using a technique called Culora, quantized low rank adaption. It's a technique that enables efficient fine tuning of large language models. Okay, so uh, I got access to uh, Llama 3 here, and I am using this Llama 3 uh, 8 billion uh, notebook here that I am testing with my own data. Okay, and the data that I'm testing here. Um, you know, just for fun, so I actually used to, you know, back in the day, I used to, uh, you know, work in a call center, a bilingual call center, where we took appointments for dent for for dentists, uh, setting dental appointments. And so I was like, okay, let me just uh, create a data set where folks are calling in, you know, indicating that they're experiencing some, experiencing some kind of pain, and you know, what type of doctor would, uh, you know, need to address that issue. And, uh, you know, it's going to create a data set that uh, basically sets appointments or at least, you know, populates information or generates a response that would set a, uh, an appointment. So I use ChatGPT to generate this fake bogus data set, you know, that has a uh, patient's name, the reason why they're calling in, and what type of doctor they would need to see. So, you know, I've been experiencing persistent headaches and dizziness, neurologists maybe. Um, so, so this is the data set that I've created. Uh, I've created it and I put it up on Hugging Face Hub. It's right here. I call it appointments. And, you know, so I've already kind of formatted this in what the alpaca uh, format. Uh, so, you know, it's ready to go. It's ready to be trained on a model. So basically all we have here is we have uh, the, uh, I guess you call it scaffolding. So it's the setup that we, uh, that Unsoft gives us to, you know, perform all the imports that we need. Uh, and so this is straight out of the GitHub. But so this is me like installing uh, all of the, the packages and you know this is actually coming down from uh, Llama, excuse me, uh, Hugging Face. So this is all part of the, that PEFT parameter efficient fine tuning. Okay. Um, so, but what I, I really want to kind of show you is how fast this is. How fast? Uh, oh, and one more thing. I'm actually using a. Uh, I'm in I'm in Google Colab Pro, and. I'm using a GPU, a T4 GPU, and we're gonna see how fast this is, how fast the inference speed is. So this is the same uh, code here. So here's the part that we want. Uh, I learned today that we need to be using a uh, end of sentence token to, to indicate to the model where the end of the sentence is. So I, I'm basically, uh, utilizing this uh, function to uh, build out a data set that um, the training uh, the training class needs. So, um, so th that's what I'm doing. So I'm basically pulling down my data set right here, uh, and I'm applying this function to it, which all it does is just adds a uh, a key called text, and it and it just applies uh you know the prompts that i already had inside here for each one of these i hope they made sense but that's what it's doing though 
it's uh, creating a data set and it says adding that uh, that text uh, key uh, with the prompt that I already had in there. Okay, so what these what this prompt is doing, you know, all together, it's saying maybe let me go back over here. So you are a scheduler for the doctor, like appointment setter. You would take the patient's first and last name as follows. So I have uh, these pl uh, placeholders there for formatting. You will listen to their ailment as follows. And then I take the ailment. And you set a time and date when the doctor can address uh, their needs. By crafting a one sentence response indicating the doctor type and the date. So the language model needs to interpret, you know, what the person is saying, you know, or, you know, it needs to interpret the actual reason that the person's calling in by identifying what type of doctor it is. And we're training it off of, you know, very valid, uh, um, uh, so, I mean, we're, we're basically mapping this pretty good. So stomach aches and, uh, you know, diarrhea, gastro, gastrointestinal infection. Or what type of doctor is that? Gastroenterologist. So anyway, so that's so we're trying to map these really good. We're trying to feed into the language model, to the training, uh, a good mapping of what you know what's what we expect. So just kind of showing you the background. So I've already done all that. So now we just kind of just want to show you how fast it is, how fast the inference is. So I've already trained it or whatnot. So is very quick. It didn't take it didn't take much time at all to get this trained. I didn't have that much data, but it's still it was still quick. Uh, so there you go. Four point seven minutes used for training. I like the, I like the fact that uh, Unsloth actually provides all this data there. That's how that's what I'm saying. It was very fast. Four point seven minutes, and now we go to the inference. So basically, with the inference, I just I need to pass you know that first name, last name, and just the uh, the symptoms that those that uh, I'm, I'm feeling. And then the language model is supposed to fill in, okay, this, you're, you're going to see this type of doctor at this type of date. So, uh, and it's going to show you down here. Now, let me show you that right now. So uh, let's say, for example, uh, something that we haven't seen before. Uh, I broke my thumb. Okay, and this guy's name is uh, uh, Barry. I don't know, uh, Kelly Barry. So look down here. So, um, so let me just go ahead and delete this actually. And when I hit this inference, boom, it's already giving me the answer. So the name is Kelly Berry. She broke her thumb. Now we need to set a time and date. So uh, doctor type. So we need to, so the, the this is the date that's been set. Uh, I can address this by, so I mean, so it looks like a, uh, it's generating a response. I can address this by setting the bone here. Okay, there we go. So the doctor type orthopedic. So so I, I may need to tweak this a little bit, but it's it's it provided more data. But I didn't provide that much data. But it did give a uh, a doctor type here, and you know it looks like it's also generating like a little bit more. Uh, but it gave us a response, and it gave me it gives us a, a a date over here. Now let me try another um uh scenario. Okay. Uh, Call her Bruce, Kelly Bruce. Uh, I can't smell anything. I can't smell anything. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's all right. That's what I'm saying. That's the inference. I already got an answer. So that's the patient's name, Kelly Bruce. Her ailment, I can't smell anything. Uh... So the doctor type, so so you want to craft one sentence. So she needs to see a 
Otolarn, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, Otolarnologist. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm not a doctor. Um, so you know, hopefully this is like a uh, doctor that uh, addresses nasal issues. And there's a date. Crafting a one sentence response indicating the doctor in time. I haven't been experiencing. Uh, okay. So maybe, maybe that's going on. But so let me just kind of see what type of doctor this is. What type of doctor? All right. The, the, uh, so ear, nose, and throat doctor. All right. So, hey, that's what I wanted to show you really quickly. I mean, I, it looks like, you know, Llama 3 is extremely fast. Uh, I, I didn't train it on that much data, but... Uh, you know that 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 is really fast to me. So, uh, want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, you know, if you've kind of tested it out yourself, and uh, you know, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.